Cyril. How fares the search? Well, Your Grace, my report shall be with you ere long. Ah, yes. Yote is otherwise engaged, at my behest. And the duty of wardenship? Fulfilled. For as you see, I've been reunited with my first shield. I am Cyril, Knight of the Undying and bearer of the Burning Quill. Charged with chronicling the mortal deeds of His Grace, Joshua Rosfield, Keeper of the Flame of the Phoenix, and rightful Archduke of Rosaria. I entrusted Cyril here, with overseeing the investigation into Ultima's origins. Findings from his brothers and sisters afield are delivered here, to be collated and catalogued. Just how many undying are there? Not nearly enough, milady. Yet we are glad to give our all in service to the Phoenix. Such is, and has ever been, our creed. I see. You have your associates, I have mine. But you may now think of them as ours. That won't be a problem, will it? The Phoenix is our sun, and we but the shadows that quicken in his radiance. It is from the darkness that we serve, both him and now you. Pray accept this token. For as long as you bear it, members of our order will reveal themselves unto you. If there is nothing further... No. You are dismissed. Your Grace. Is it Canva, then? We'll talk about this later. Cyril seemed very... Um... You certainly keep strange bedfellows, Joshua. Ah, Lord Rossfield. I'm afraid I cannot stay to talk. I must leave to collect the reports of our spies in the field. Now that you wear the phoenix down, our brothers and sisters will no doubt reveal themselves to you too. Farewell, my lord, and may the firebird's flame burn ever in your heart. The free cities under siege? Who'd have thought it? Master Cyril, luckily. Three men are still holding their own, then. Do we have any idea where Gav and the others might be? There's a warehouse near the docks where we agreed to meet if there was any trouble. We should hurry. Sounds like thunder. You're late. 
<laughs> We're starting to think you'd stumbled off a cliff. I seem to recall that was you, Gav. Good to see you. Any trouble on the road? Nothing we couldn't handle. I knew you'd come. Is that who I think it is? Yes. Uh, allow me to introduce my brother, Joshua. Clive's told me all about you. Or even listening most of the time. Name's Middadol. But everyone calls me Mid. My lady. Hey! Byron. <laughs> it's really you. I never thought I'd see the day. <laughs> so these Akashic are being controlled. That's what it looked like. Empty eyes, eerie blue glow. No doubt they were turned, but silent as monks, every last one of them. Your man here speaks true, Clive. We saw more than a few in the city. They moved in ranks with a purpose, and not of their own. Ultima's doing. Perhaps. What of the city? The people? <sighs> Dead, mostly. Mostly, but not all. A handful managed to lock themselves in their villas before the Horde arrived. Some in the Merchant's District to the west, and a few of us on the far bank. Hmm. If the Akashic stumble across either hiding place, a few bolted doors won't hold them for long. We need to find them. And quickly. What do you propose? We split into two parties. I will make for the Merchant's District, while you look to those across the river. Mind keeping an eye on my brother? Not at all. We find the villa and try the servant's entrance. Understood. And what of us? Mid, is she fit to sail? The ship? Uh, the Mithril engine could probably do with a few more tweaks. Then you better work fast. Even if we do reach the survivors in time, they'll never make it to the hideaway on foot. You leave that to me. See that Mid doesn't get herself into trouble, would you? Think I can manage that? I'll keep him safe. Looks like you stuck with me, Byron. That's Lord Rossfield, you little gutter snipe. Shall we then? And you keep Clive safe. Be careful. Both of you. You too. All right, Torgal. Let's find those survivors. They don't stand a chance against those things. Oh, <laughs> 
Reaver. There may still be survivors inside. You've caused quite the commotion. But then I would expect no less from you, Muthos. You again. I don't believe we've been introduced. You were in my family's crypt. And now you're here. With an army of Akashic thralls. Manners, Lord Rossfield. They are men. Like you and me. Albeit one's uh, unburdened by the wills that drive our kind to madness. They are pure. They are... divine. What? And they are all that remains in this once raucous city. You'll pay for what you've done. As you wish. I confess, I have been very much looking forward to this. Pardon me, this indulgence, Your Majesty. The vessel shall not be spoiled. I am the Lady of House Harbor. And you will yield! Or not. As long as you don't hold back.
You will forgive me if my performance seems uninspired. It is just that I expected so much more from our chosen one. Perhaps this will kindle your flame. What now? A gift from my liege lord's armory. Gungnir. Watch closely, Mythos. Yes! Well done!
vessel is strong. My leash. Clive! You're all right. As are you, I see. We are, yes. I'm sorry, but we couldn't save them. It was over before we arrived. Well, you did what you could. I fear we were all too late. What's wrong? Nothing. I hope. So soon, Mythos. It's the king. Indeed, you may kneel before Barnabas Tharm, warden of Ash and king of Walud. Get back. Did my lord commander. Yet I see why my master covets you so. The power within you, Mythos. The potential. Stop calling me Mythos. But Mythos is everything. The cornerstone of all creation. The lord's vessel. Your purpose. Purpose? To surrender my mind and body to that thing? No, your majesty. My purpose is my own. I made a promise to my friends, to my people. And nothing is going to stand in my way. You would allow this delusion of free will to bar your path to greatness? Truly, your volition is a cancer. One that must be excised. Hey! <laughs> 
This way! Hurry! <laughs> Power beyond reckoning. And they use it as a crutch. Such a waste. Will he be all right? The Phoenix can mend flesh, but the spirit must recover on its own. I'm afraid the rest is up to him. This place is remarkable. Outfitting it must have been no small feat. But why go to such trouble? That beauty's belly is filled with wonders the world ain't ready for. If the guilds caught wind of what we're up to, they'd all want a piece. All right. And how is he? Do not blame yourself. He was barely breathing when you brought him here. We would have lost him if it were not for you. No. Barnabas may have severed nigh every sinew in my brother's body. But he made certain the wounds were not fatal. Nigh every sinew? Allow me, your lordship. Don't know what I was thinking, putting you to the trouble like that. <laughs> it is no trouble carrying comestibles to my ailing nephew. I know, but... You've already done so much for us. Pouring your gill into the hideway and now the ship. I don't want to take the piss. You risked your life. And for what? Some girl you hardly know. Why'd you do it? You got mad or something? I... wouldn't go that far. Clive! You're awake. My boy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what I want to do is help. And the world won't save itself. It was Sid. Your father, who taught me that. Sounds like him. Don't you dare do that again. What of the Royalists? Fucked off, the lot of them. Along with the Galleon. With the King on board, no doubt. Behind here, yeah, I wouldn't sail without him. <sighs> Clive. Jill didn't come back. What do you mean? She kept the king busy while the others dragged you out. It's all right, Mid. Jill is fine. The ether of her icon endures. And as long as it does, we can be certain she is alive. <laughs> we must pursue the Black Galleon. Jill will be with the King, I'm sure of it. Well, good luck catching him, because my ship's going nowhere. It's the Mithril engine. She's got a kick like a wild chocobo and a mind to tear the hull in half. But do you have an idea? Uh, well, of course I do. My dad will have seen this coming a league off. If I had his old writings... If you had his old writings, you'd be sitting under a fuckload of rubble. The ones Otto didn't save anyway. I suppose you might still have a few pages in his stores. We'll have to hope it's enough. Do what you can to ready the ship. I'll speak with Otto. In your condition, you really are mad. 
<laughs> Perhaps. But the world really won't save itself. Gav said that Otto might know something. Let me tell you a story, Clive. All right. Them rumours wet legs were spreading. Might be they weren't just tales plucked out of thin air. You see, there were a time when I weren't too particular about who I sold steel to, so long as they paid me the right price. Some women lust after blood, others after flesh, but me? I were always one for gold. And to satisfy that lust, I sold to opposing armies, stabbed my every client in the back, made myself the most hated woman in the twins. But then one day... One day I met a man who made me a different kind of offer. Said it'd give me access to a realm-wide community of like-minded individuals in constant need of steel and sundries. On the condition I sold to him and he's alone. Was that the first time you met Sid? Aye. And I fell right into his damn trap. He were true to his word, so I ended up being true to mine. And I soon started making the best profits I've seen since taking up the trade. And all without aiding or abetting any outlaws. Except Sid himself, that is. Told me about his plan to topple the Mother Crystals, you know. Said that with them gone, the realm would want for all manner of things. An opportunity for the likes of me to mint Gil. Why, I reckon an enterprising individual could find herself the richest dam in the twins. And that's when he had me. I emptied my stores that day and moved into the Ardaway proper. And the rest, as they say, is ancient bloody history. A dozen years on, and I'm still not the richest damn. <laughs> not for lack of trying, mind. But I can say that I have never been happier. You've all shown me there are some things more precious than Gil. That there are. So don't you go messing it all up, or you'll have me to answer to. Still alive, are ya? That great lump. No. Coin purse weighing you down. It'd better all be here. You're rubbing me blind, you know. It'd better all be here. What do you want? Not my best work, but it'll do. Yeah, that should do you. And...
There's no one like our nan. Your lad's worth double that. <sighs> and I've never looked back. Be careful out there. If it's knowledge you seek. Lord Marquis, you seem unwell. I know His Grace has asked that I remain here with your people. But if you were to require my services, I could leave for the free cities at once. Goodness, you're as pale as a poltergeist. Why don't you sit down and have a nice bowl of Molly's Brown? Cole said it was an army of Akashi. What will happen to me and the others? How are we supposed to do our duty when the hills are crawling with Akashi and the valleys are full of water? <laughs> Welcome to the Patron's Whisper. Is everything we've received and everything promised? You earned this. Best of luck out there, Sid. 